Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Bow Show. It's The Bow Show, baby. Today, I have a very special guest on a very special day. Today, May 31st, 2011, seven years ago, we got the Jets back in Winnipeg. And I have a member here, Mr. Thomas Steen, who was a member of the first Jets. Thomas, thanks for coming to the show. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you very much. And that was a really good day. I'm excited beyond words to announce our purchase of the Atlanta Thrashers. Yeah. You had 817 points in 950 games. Yeah. So close to a point a game. So yeah. close. Yeah. For me, that bugs me. Because if, <laughs> if I was you, I'd hop back in. Yeah, well, I was at, like a checking center. Like, yeah, yeah. So I played against the other team's best forwards every night. And the thing that I love about you too is you're only like 5'10", 5'11", same size as me. People say all the time, Bo, you're just a small guy. How are you so strong in the corners? Yeah. I say, well, why don't you ask my boy Steener? <laughs> Tenacious. <laughs> Jamnoff following up. Jamnoff right in. Steener shot. Scores! I'm a skilled Fast forward, yeah. fast, tenacious. I can imagine. Yeah. Well, you yeah. can see. Yeah. You kidding me? Yeah. You think, look at these getaway sticks. Oh yeah. Would my game as a skilled fast forward fit in in Sweden? Uh. You you were drafted in 1979, in the fifth round, 103rd overall. 103rd overall. It's it's deep, it's it's a little bit in the latter half. So that redemption story. That reminds me of me. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. Well, a lot of guys who get drafted in the first round think mm. they already made it. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I could list guys right now. <laughs> yeah. The girls, dude. The girls are like, are you kidding me? Steiner going fifth in the fifth round. round? They're talking, they're talking, Steiner? <laughs> Who's this guy, Steen, from Sweden? Like, you know, <laughs> stay away from this guy, fifth rounder. Next thing you know, <laughs> next thing you know, you're almost a point per game. 1990. An NHL poll rated you the most underrated player in the whole NHL. It's not recorded or documented, no. but I'm pretty sure when I played in Steinbach for the Pistons Junior Hockey Club, the boys knew I was underrated. Oh, yeah. They knew. Oh, yeah. But it just wasn't documented. No. How do you put that in words? You can't. No. You can't put something like that in words. No. I mean, you guys are lucky you got the you NHL. You can see it. Yeah. Well, you can't say it. Wow, don't even get me started <laughs> on seeing it. I mean, you know, thousands of people saw it across Manitoba. It was a secret. Yeah. It's not a secret. <laughs> no. I mean, you look at my game, you say, this guy can go to the NHL, but it's just exposure. Yeah. You got to get that exposure. First mm -hmm. rapid fire question I got for you, Steiner, is if Canada played Sweden in the gold medal game of the Olympics, even though NHL players aren't allowed, say World Juniors, Canada played Sweden, gold medal, World, Jun World Juniors, who do you cheer for? Win win. Who's the best player you've ever played against in your career? Mm, Wayne Gretzky. Okay, I just could have seen that one coming. Yeah. Who was the Who was the first goalie you ever scored uh, your, your your first NHL goal against? Tony Esposito. Now listen to this. We asked Wheels this question. I asked Wheels. I said, Wheels, hey, buddy, who's the coolest guy on the Jets? Josh Morrissey. Yeah. Young Gun. Young Gun. Who was the coolest guy on Jets 1.0? Rick Dudley. Oh. <laughs> he, he liked to wear, uh, like, he had a guitar on his back really? and a suit. And oh, that's boots. cool. I'll tell you, yeah. that's, that's, that's freaking cool. <laughs> what was your favorite pregame meal? Because nowadays, guys are just so, you know, they're so concerned about what they eat. For me, I was thinking, mm, what do we think today? Maybe cheeseburger and fries? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a couple points anyways. Yeah. I, you know, I figured I was like, Heck, sometimes I would nice eat pasta, a couple points. Half, half time I would eat burgers, a couple points. I was like, hey, who cares what I eat anymore? What yeah. was your favorite pregame meal back in the day? Well, at the end of my career, it was pretty similar to what How it is, is now. today. Like with a buffet and chicken, yeah. pasta. Mm -hmm. Favorite, last question, because we're here at the gorgeous Camp Manitou yeah. at the zip line. Yeah. At the zip line. Yeah. Brand new zip line added in the last few years. What is your favorite camp activity? I love the ring. Uh, I mean, guys like you and me. Yeah. That's where we spend our time. Oh, yeah. I mean, Christmas Day. Christmas Day. <laughs> Christmas Day. I mean, look at a guy like you, two way forward, defensive <coughs> guy. I mean, you look at a guy like me, too, two way speedy guy. Wing. Just speedy wing, down the wing, <laughs> shot, Can snipe, picking all. corners, picking corners. Oh, that, yeah. doesn't, that doesn't happen on the zip line. Yeah. Listen, Steiner, yeah. thank you 
for, t for coming on The Bow Show. Yeah. Awesome. And thank you guys yeah. for tuning in to another episode of The Bow Show. We'll see you soon. Well, now we've laid into the hands of millions of people. It's The Bow Show, baby.